Welcome back to Cosmic Galaxy. In this video, we'll talk about a space completely silent. Many people have heard the expression, no one can hear you scream in space. Like many others before you, you may have simply accepted this as fact without giving it much thought. Some people may have gone so far as to discover that space is silent because sound cannot travel through a vacuum. While both of these statements are correct, have you ever considered why? To get to the bottom of this, we need to examine the science behind it all. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. So, space is a vacuum, but what exactly does that mean? To put it simply, space is everything that exists outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Despite the fact that it is filled with stars, planets, asteroids, and other objects, space is referred to as a vacuum. A vacuum is a space that is completely devoid of matter. There is nothing inside of a vacuum. There are no particles, no air, nothing. So, how can space be a vacuum when there are so many celestial bodies in the night sky? It turns out that space isn't a vacuum truly, after all. It's called that for convenience, because space is so vast that the vast majority of it is a vacuum. How does sound travel in the first place, and why can't it travel through space? Sound like light travels in waves. Sound waves, on the other hand, are referred to as a mechanical wave as opposed to light waves. These mechanical waves take the form of a vibrating wave that transports energy as it moves from one location to another in the case of sound waves. This wave must travel through what is known as a medium, which in this case is particles. But let's look at an example to make things clearer. When you play a guitar string, the string vibrates. This initial vibration causes a chain reaction in the particles around it, similar to the ripples caused by a pebble dropped into a pond. Each affected particle then transfers the vibrations to those around it, thereby transferring energy. The vibration weakens as the sound wave travels further. This continues until the sound wave vanishes due to the small amount of energy lost in each particle transfer. So, in order for sound to travel, particles are required. These particles can combine to form a variety of substances such as water, gas, liquids, and even solids. However, because space is a vacuum, sound cannot travel through it you won't be able to hear a guitar if you played it in space. There are no particles to vibrate in the vast gaps of nothingness between cosmic bodies in space. So, the initial vibrations of the guitar string would have nowhere to transfer to, and no one would ever hear it. This means that there can be enough particles close enough together for sound to occur and even travel at a short distance. Black holes are an example of where sound occurs in space, but it is humanly impossible to hear. The sound which came from the Perseus galaxy over 250 million light years away was first recorded in 2003 at NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. The sound was measured to be a B-flat, but at a frequency billions of times lower than what humans can physically hear. How can space be silent if it's not a true vacuum? While the vast majority of space is a vacuum and thus completely silent, there still are some areas that sound can be heard. But wait. Doesn't this go against everything I've said so far? Well, not quite. Throughout the universe, clouds of dust and gas can be found. These can be the remains of long dead stars or even regions where matter is being pulled together to form a new one. In these space-faring clouds, it is possible for the gas and dust to become clustered and thus dense. So, wait a minute. Is space completely silent or not? While space is more silent than you can imagine, it is not completely soundless. Sound waves cannot travel through space, but under very specific conditions, sound can exist in some infinitesimally small regions. And with that, we have come to the end of our video. I'm sure you enjoyed watching it and were amazed by the vastness of space and how complicated things are up there. Thank you for watching the video. 